welcome to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire! So last time we got interrupted by May at the very end, so here we are! Don't tell me, are you here for the shopper? Uh, May, I'm not much of a shopper, I'm more of a killer, uh, uh KOer, knocker outer. We're right in front of the famous Lily Cove department store after all. Is that like the one in uh, Celadon City? When I saw you, I figured maybe you'd come here to do some shopping, same as me. Again, ma'am, I, I don't shop. I'm afraid I already bought up tons of stuff like Pokemon dolls and posters and... I'm guessing you can buy a bunch of decorations for your house thingamajous. But, but, that's not all I've been doing, of course. I've also got tons of different Pokemon and I've been r raising them really well. Or, well, too. Really? <gasps> you doubt me? Harsh. I think the bigger question here is whether you're raising your Pokemon right, not me. So that settles it. Let's have a battle. Let's test my team and see how much they stack up against your passion for Pokemon Psycho. So here we go, guys. Another rival battle. Heck yeah. This time against Pokemon Trainer May with four Pokemon. She's going to start off with a Swellow, which is probably honestly stronger than my flying type. Oh, well. We're going to send out to Booty, which is actually the perfect choice for this. Now my Grumping is still dead. I probably should have healed up, but I didn't expect this to happen, this, uh, this May battle here. So they are going to use Double Team, which might make this a little bit hard to hit, and it does. Low accuracy, plus they have Double Team. They're going to use another one here, so it's going to be a miracle if I can hit this, but I think if I do, it might one-shot them. Oh! Actually, they are level 37. It might take two of these. No, one is plenty, so that Swellow is defeated. Take your Double Team somewhere else, you scrub. All right, Gax is already up to level 41. Their next Pokemon is going to be a Waylord, so I'm going to send out my Gex, of course. And I'll just probably take one Leaf Blade to take it down. Now note that she does have a Waylord now, not just a Waylord, it has evolved. So good job to that, May. I think Waylord is... I think he's the largest Pokemon. For the longest time I was like, why is Waylord not the heaviest Pokemon? But then you read the fine print and you notice he's a Blimp. So Blimps are generally large but fairly light, so that kind of makes sense. Alright, so two Pokemon down already. Tinky Winky grew to level 29. Blaziken is coming out. And unfortunately, my water type Pokemon kind of sucks. However, I could use Booty for that uh, for that Rock Slide. However, I just said however so many times. They're going to have a fighting move, so that's not a good idea. I'm going to go over to Crud and probably use some Surf Action and see how that does. Uh, maybe it'll be alright. Blaziken is kind of tricky. I mean, Nimbus could do a flying attack, but the levels are kind of at a weird place right now. And surprisingly, I am actually faster than Blaziken. Got that super effective, probably going to take two more of those. But they are going with a bulk up, which I think raises, yeah, raises their attack and defense. But that's not going to raise their special defense, so Surf is going to do just fine here. Now, as long as she doesn't heal it, one more Surf will do it. Unless they one-shot me. No, they're going to go with a Focus Energy. Now, Fighting Type would have been fantastic against Crud as well. I really don't have anything super good to take down Blaziken. Quick Attack, not going to do very much, even from a Blaziken. So this Surf is going to take him down. Even though we had a type disadvantage, Crud for the win. Now, one Pokemon left. I can't imagine it'll be anything too devastating. Her last Pokemon is a Breloom. Actually, I take that back. That might be scary. However, Nimbus might be able to get a Fly Off first. I'm not sure if they're fast enough. Now, as a Grass type and a uh, Fighting type, if I'm not mistaken, they are four time weak to flying. So let me go and try that out. They are level 37, but I don't think Breloom's a particularly fast Pokemon. No, they do go first, but they use Mind Reader, so I don't think it's going to do any damage. So they took aim at me. I'm going to fly up high, and let's hope I can one-shot them. I probably won't. Here we go. Maybe they don't actually uh, outspeed me. Oh, because they're using Counter. Gosh dang it. Well, that's unfortunate. Counter does a lot of damage. Who do I want to end things off with? This probably won't work. Never mind. I was going to say, let's just go ahead and use Tinky Winky, but I want them to get the experience, and they're probably going to die if I send them out, so that would be a terrible idea. Let's just finish things off with this simple answer. We'll go with Gex. I would have preferred to use Grumpig, but of course, it's not that simple sometimes. So Quick Attack should finish them off. I feel bad for Nimbus. They really need the experience, but they just keep fainting in battles every time. I'm not sure what level Nimbus evolves, but once they evolve, they should be in a much better spot, and I can go find them a Mega Stone. So that'll help out as well. So take that, May. Dot, dot, dot. She doesn't have anything to say. She's speechless. Or is she? Ah, this reminds me of the battle I had with you back on Route 103. 
You were able to become this strong because you battled me back then, right, Psycho? What would you think if I said something like that? I think that was pretty, uh, narcissistic of you. I'm actually thinking that it's about time I went back to Little Root, though. I've caught a lot of different Pokemon, and my Pokedex is pretty complete. So I think I should go show it to my dad. Huh? Did something just sparkle in your bag? Uh, I'm just happy to see you. Oh, right, it's the meteorite. Oh, no, thing, sorry, just forget it. Everyone we've met with has mentioned the meteorite, so it's gotta be something really important. You gotta collect all the gym badges? Heck yeah, I am. Just two more to go. Typical psycho. What do you mean? We just met each other. Then while you're collecting your badges, I guess I'll go and complete my Pokedex. I guess I'll be off then. So long, May. So, let me go inside that Pokemon Center I ran, by, uh, ran past last time. We can finally heal up. And I think we have to head out to the east onto the ocean. We do have Surf, so we should be fine. I think there is two more Water HMs, though, unless they've removed them from the game. But Gen 3 was always known for having way gosh dang too many Water HMs. Oh well. Now, last time... Did I already mention this? I can't remember. Last time I said that I would be opening a secret base on this episode, and basically, from this point on, whichever, uh, whenever we see the next secret base, that is the one that will be my home base. Now, Team Aqua's kind of all over this town. So they say not to go near the cave on the cove, which means that's probably where we should go. It's kind of how things work in these games. If they say not to go somewhere, that is exactly where you need to be. So let's jump down these ledges, and I guess go down these stairs. Let's go see if we can find some cave or something. I'm guessing it's up this way. I kind of remember this a little bit from the original games. It's kind of strange because while Pokemon Emerald is my favorite Pokemon game, I don't remember that much about it. I remember all the zones and stuff, but I can't remember all the exact details of all the locations. But inside here, it's a secret base! Not gonna be as cool as my secret base once I get mine, but it'll do. So let's see, I probably want to swap out. Let's let's go ahead and put Piglet up front just for funsies. Although they might have their Poochianas if they do all the swap out. Hi, buddies. Is this going to be a triple battle? Mumble, mumble. Staying on my feet all day makes my feet sweat. I hate it. Are you guys going to get out of my way? What? What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to steal something important. Where did he go? Wahaha! -ha. Do you think I'd really tell you something that crucial? Yes. What? What? Oh, they're going to say the same thing. Oh, Mount Pyre on Route 122. So I guess we got to head back to Route 122. The question is, where exactly is that? It might be out in the water, but thanks for the tips, guys. Mount Pyre it is. Not a very good hideout. It's kind of pretty obvious. I mean, I guess you have to have a surfing Pokemon to find it, but still. So I think Mount Pyre might be the thing to the south there. I really don't know. There's a line of Whalmer right there blocking my exit, so I guess Team Aqua does not want me to leave this place. So maybe maybe I've already been to Route 122, and I'm just a doofus. Also, is there a Jimmy Lily Cove? There might be. Ah, uh, there's a Pokemon Contest Center. I don't know if there's a actual gym here. I think that this place is, like, known for its contest stuff. I think it's got, like, the biggest contest place ever. What is this building? Let's read the sign here, I guess. You can actually get to it. It's kind of hard to do stuff on your bike. Oh, it's the harbor, right. That makes a lot of sense. So let's go exit to the west and see what route that was. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 122, but I could be wrong. Maybe that green dot back there actually is Mount Pyre. So back here is... Route 121, that is what I expected. I'm thinking the one to the south might be 122. Let's just keep looking a little bit. Um, this trainer right here, or this Team Aqua member, just mentioned 101 Skitties and a Whalmer. I guess it's not quite a Waylord, but hot Skitty on Waylord action, I'm sure it's gonna happen. Oop, oh, crud. Hold on, guys, let me go back so you can actually see what I just did. But just a little bit south of, there's the Safari Zone right there, so where we've already been. Go just a little bit south, there's a couple people here. Let's talk to her. Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. We also have looks like a Pokemon Center lady, or Nurse Joy if you want to call her that. I'm a wandering Pokemon Center employee. Why don't I take care of your Pokemon? It was in a flash. Alright, she's going to heal me up. And it looks like she has a cute little skitty right next to her there. But yeah, right down here is where Route 122 is. So let's go down here, take a surf, and see if we can actually find Mount Pyre. Where could it possibly be? Uh, probably not on that... Ah, right here. Yeah, Mount Pyre's over that way, of course. Why would it be right here? That would be way too simple. Okay, let's actually go look for it. Oh, I bet you it's this crud. Just gotta find the edge of it. Let's keep swimming around the edge. Aha, now that is what I call a mountain. Let's go inside and explore. Get in there. So we're finally at Mount Pyre, and I'm fairly certain this is kind of similar to the Lavender Town Tower. It's kind of like a graveyard for this area. 
It's probably gonna be some ghosts. Now, right here, guys. Uh, there it is, actually. This was one of the Pokemon I was debating adding to my team because Banette is in my top 10 favorite Pokemon. I love Banette a lot. So I was really thinking of adding a Shuffet to my team in place of Crud. But I feel like having Crud, as much as I love Banette, I feel like having Crud is useful just because we really need the, the HMs. So I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with Crud. But here we have a trainer. He's probably going to have Psychic or Ghost or something. Which is probably not a good thing because I have my Grumpig up front. No, he's going to actually have a Staryu, which is just a water type. I don't think he even has a Psychic typing until he evolves, so... I'll just keep Piglet out. Sounds good to me. So let's just give out some Star Beams. Maybe I should be using my... Amnesia to bust, uh, bust, boost my special defense. But whatever he just did did not do very much damage. So let's just do a couple of these. One more will take him down. Bam! Tinky Winky grew to level 30, and he learned Flail. Nice. He's going to send out his own Grump Pig. Well, I've got just the answer for that. Uh... Um... Uh... Uh... <laughs> I actually don't have an answer. I'm just hoping the power of my booty can one-shot- WHY WOULD YOU USE REST WHEN YOUR HP IS ALREADY FULL? WHAT IS WRONG WITH YOU? Is that going to one-shot it? Not even halfway. Let me just go with I Oh, I should've gone with Iron Tail, actually. Is he becoming my type? No, he confused me. Never mind. And let me get through. And I got Iron Head! Hooray! I can't tell if he's Swagger or not. Uh, probably not. Uh, let's just go with one more Iron Head. That'll do. Teeter Dance. Oh, okay, that's what he used before. And I got through again! Nice! Good job, Booty! Booty's got a pretty good track record with, track record with getting through the confusions. I drown in self-pity. Okie dokie, buddy. So, with him out the way, let's see if we can actually climb this tower. I think that was a ghost right there. So many trainers here, though. Hi, buddy! When I'm here, some sort of power flows into me. Okay, that's a uh, little spoopy. And she's going to have a Sableye, which I'm probably just gonna body. Let's see if Booty can handle it. Uh, let me, oh crud, I have Piglet up front. I forgot to swap. I should probably not have Piglet up front here. Okay, let's go over to Booty. Watch, he's gonna use like a fighting attack or something. Somehow he's going to have that. that that's about to happen. Nope, just confused, right? Well, let's see if the track record of Booty getting through confusion works out for us today. Now, I am going to go with Iron Tail. It has more damage than any of my other moves, but the worst accuracy as well, so... Pretty risky, but I'm going to try it. And nope! Now that I've said something, they're going to get hit by confusion, aren't they? Shadow Claw coming. Eh, doesn't do that much, so I'm fine. Let's try Iron Tail again. Still confused. And hurt myself again! Fantastic! Oh, this is great. And of course he has Power Gem. Ugh. Jeez. Let's just go with a Iron Tail. Again. Come on. Get through this one. Nope. Three in a row. Why did I have to say anything? Zen Headbutt is a coming. And it's going to do six damage. Owie. Okay. Fourth time, right? Fourth time's the charm. Yeah. Good. There. Hit him with Iron Tail. Was it even worth it? Probably not. I probably should have just gone with anything else. Anything else at all would have been great. How about Iron Head? That'll work. And somehow I'm actually faster than Sableye. Well, he's dead, but now I have a lot of healing to do. But you know what, guys? We are going to end it here today. What lies beyond the staircase? Find out next time! Take care.